Hello. Hello, teacher Nati. Hello, good evening. How are you? I am fine. And how was your day? It was good. It was good. It was a little bit tiring, but good. It was nice. It was a nice day. With cake. <laughs> Days with cake are very good. <laughs> well, so welcome, Mr. Diego, Edwin, Jorge, Isabel, Hello, Mr. Teacher. Dennis, Miss Wendy. Welcome to another class, another opportunity of learning. And for sure, uh, thank you very much for being on time. Hello, Mr. Dennis. Now you are not running. You are in class on time. It is a great happiness to have you all here. And Mr. Edwin is not in traffic, so that's good. At home. Yeah, you are at home. And Mr. Ronald with new hairstyle. Con nuevo peinado y muchachos. <laughs> oh my God, you see? He was working with Catherine because you were together. <laughs> Ahí estuvieron juntos en el grupo. Ahí se le pasó la dos. <laughs> because you were with Catherine. I will make you laugh because you are going to, to have this coughing attack. Well, so today we are going to work a little bit on procedures, right? We are going to talk about procedures. We are going to express what you created. And we are going to review a little bit about the topic. We are also going to check the manual and for sure, we are going to advance a little bit more on the exercises. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Just give me a second. I am going to open my everything here. My attendance, my presentation, the manual, everything. So, did you finish working on your procedures? ¿Trabajaron en sus procedimientos? I received only one for checking. Solo uno me mandaron para revisión. The other ones are perfect. I didn't receive any other one. No questions, no nothing. Or if you didn't have the, the chance to do it, we are going to have the chance to actually advance on that one as well. So don't worry. We are going to check that one in for sure. Let me open the manual. We're going to advance up to the end of unit number two. And we're going to start a, a little bit of the introduction of the next unit, okay? So here it is. Let's start our day. Here we go. So yesterday we were working on uh, we were working on reading comprehension. We were working a little bit on identifying mistakes on reading. Right, that was a very good exercise. The one we did yesterday. We identify mistakes on reading, and we also work a little bit on the different commands and activities, right? And I was explaining you that the commands are also useful for procedures, right? So today, the first exercise that we have here is this one. And it says, okay, and I will show it to you. What is this image that I am showing you right now? What is it? Is it a letter? Is it a memorandum? Is it a piece of news? What is this one? What is the image that I am showing you right now? ¿Qué es esto que les estoy mostrando aquí? Una tarta. And 
Mail. Un correo electrónico. It's an email, right? It is not a letter. It is not a letter because you have, for sure, this part here, right? This one, it's something that you don't have on the letters, right? So it says from Daniel Reese at Travers.com, right? At is this symbol that we have here. This is called at, okay? This is called at. And here we have the email, right? You have the heading that says, Dear Guadalupe. You have the greeting. And then you have the body of the email, right? You have important parts of the email. For sure, the sender, right? Who is sending the email? Tenemos la parte del quien lo envía y a quien va dirigido. And you have the email addresses, right? You have the email addresses. Then you have the greeting. Then you have the, the heading, sorry. Then you have the greeting. And then you have the information of the email. And at the end of the email, we have a closing phrase, right? We always have a closing phrase at the end of the email. And we always say like, okay, uh, best regards. Thank you very much. I will be pendant. Uh, if you need anything, let me know. Thank you. That it's the most common. And the name of the person who sends the email, right? This is the receiver. And this one is the sender, right? This is the sender. And for sure, here you have the information of the email. I need you to give a quick read to this uh, email and tell me what is the purpose of this? Read it and tell me a little bit what is the purpose of this email. Give a quick read to it. For us to know what is the purpose of the email. Then we are going to analyze it together. Okay, read it, read it, read it. Uh -huh. Any idea of what is the purpose of this email? Lleva la frecuencia. Uh -huh. It says a frequency of what? A frequency of what? If you receive this email, what do you think it's the purpose of it? ¿Con qué propósito les enviarían este correo? What is the purpose of it? If there is something that you don't understand, let me know. What does it contain? ¿Qué contiene? ¿Quiere la traducción, teacher? No, 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 no. The idea. I need the idea of what does the email, what is the purpose of the email? Quiero... La idea central, ¿para qué lo enviaron? ¿Cuál es la finalidad del correo? Hacer tareas según las horas especificadas. Ok, different activities with the specific hours. Good, good. You're close, you're close to this. También, también ¿Cómo? menciona que también tiene que ser para los clientes. For the different clients, uh -huh. potential. Para, pues, como catalogar la información y que tiene dos días, como, como que le da eh, fechas exactas de lo que quiere que haga y cuándo y cómo. Ok. Y, You're getting que, close to que it. Suma importancia. 
Okay, you're getting close to it, right? Activities, order, different days, time that you have for each. And it says here, organize your week. These are activities that Guadalupe has to do on her week for her to create a schedule, right? This is for Guadalupe to schedule her week with different activities, right? To schedule her week with different things. And she is going to create different activities during her week. So the most important thing on this email, it is for the task of the month, right? The task of the month. So in this one, you say like for her to schedule, not her week, it is her, her month. Es su agenda para el, para yeah. el mes. The things that she needs to do during the month. And it says, I need you to contact the first three potential customers. I need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. Right? There you have it. I need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez, right? You have three days to do this, three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for June. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog. What is the catalog? It's like a book with different information about the company. Like Avon, for example, or Saiso, they give you the catalog every month. I check it and let me know. So you see the products, you smell the perfumes, like it smells nice, you say. <laughs> and you are like <laughs> with the catalog. So that's a catalog, right? It's where you get information about a place, right? A place, the products and things that they sell. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. That is the time that she needs to dedicate to this. It is very important to send the two latest sales report on May 26 and the right, and then it has to say here, and then, and then write a new welcome letter for the new customers. Write a new welcome letter for the customers. Send the sales report and write a welcome letter. You have one day to do it, four hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have to go to the stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. So she has many different activities many different activities to do in this month. What is the first activity that she needs to do? If we check on the different activities that she has, what is the first one that she is going to do? What? Contact the first two potential customers. Contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. That is the first activity. What is the second activity? Call the newest client. Call the new clients from the last three weeks. Okay, call the new clients from the last three weeks. What is the next activity? Remember the commands. Recuerden los comandos que estuvimos viendo ayer, los imperativos? that they start with the verb. Call the new clients. And what is the next activity that she's going to do with the clients? And uh, give them the catalog information for June. Exactly. Give them the catalog information for June. Okay, that is the next activity. What is the next one? The, the it's very important to send the two late sale report 
on send May. the two latest sales report on May 26. Okay. And what is the next activity? Yeah. Right, a new right. welcome letter for the new customer. Exactly, write a new welcome letter for the customers. And the last one? Visit the visit true store. Italy, visit the two story uh, his store in Santa Tecla. Visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. And the final recommendation that he gives? Organize your week. <laughs> Organize your week, right? That is the final recommendation. It's like you have a lot of things to do, but remember to organize your week. That's another comment, right? Organize your week. So you have contact the first three potential customers, call the new clients, give them the catalog, send the two latest reports, write a new welcome letter, and visit the stores in Santa Tecla and organize your week. Those are the specific points that she needs to do on this month, right? So we need to keep this one in mind. We need to keep them in mind because that is the first thing that they are going to do. So if we say, what is the first one that she needs to have in mind? It will be, let me see, contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. That is his, her first activity, okay? En su agenda va a poner contactar los clientes, llamarlos, eh, darles tal cosa, enviar el reporte. So that's an agenda. People, do you have an agenda for your day? ¿Tienen ustedes una agenda? ¿Manejan una agenda? Or no? Que sea lo que Dios quiere. <laughs> que Solo tenga. tenemos daily read, read comer. Su diaria, rutina diaria, daily, da daily routine. You have a daily routine. routine, a daily routine. Well, but it is, it is important people to have an agenda. So you have to know what's next, what comes, what follows. Imagine if I don't have an agenda, I am lost. It would be terrible. Imagínense que yo quisiera manejar toda la academia sin agenda. It will be very terrible. So let me see. I am going to mark, send the two latest sales report on May 26. That will be the next one. So those are activities that are coming. I know that in your life, you have many different things that you need to do. And as you don't have an agenda, you are going to have one now. You are going to start having one. Van a empezar a tener una. Think about, think about four important days in this month. Piensen en cuatro días importantes que tienen este mes. Piensen en cuatro, only four. Okay, and I am going to open, I am going to open my board. Okay, voy a abrir la pizarra para explicarles. This is going to be your mini agenda, right? And you are going to think on four important days that you have this month. You're going to think of only four. And you are going to create exactly what I am going to do here, okay? This is what you are going to do on your notebook. Ah, beautiful line, oh, horrible line. Okay. <laughs> La arquitectura y el dibujo no eran lo mío. Sorry, I am going to make it a little bit better, okay? Agendas are very similar to this. So you have it. And as you have your notebook, it's going to be easier for you, okay? So here you have four different spaces. And I need you to think on four specific important dates on this month. For me, I am going to say June 8th. It's the first one, right? This is my first important day, June 8th, okay? For me- June June 17th, Father's Day. Okay, wait, 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 I'm going there. June 17th, okay? And I am going to think about another one. I am going to say, this is my agenda. I don't know your agenda. Ustedes pueden tener otras cosas importantes que hacer este mes. June 22nd, and I am going to have June the 30th. 
Okay, these are my four important days. On June 8, I am going to do the following. And I am going to say, organize all the things for Alex party. Okay, this is my event. Este es el evento que tengo yo para este día. And I say, these are very important things, right? That I need to do this day. Because tomorrow I have a party. And I say, that's my important thing for this day. For June 17, okay, this is my activity, right? Check. For June 22nd, to share days. Yeah. Okay, this is the activity that I have for that day because I need to organize the party for the teachers, right? And on June 30, I have to train, train the new worker for the workplace, okay? I have this one. So those are my activities and those are my four important dates. And this is my agenda, right? ¿Qué voy a hacer en esos días? ¿Qué tengo que hacer? ¿Qué es lo importante de ese día? So I need you to choose four days of this month. Si escogen el 15, por ejemplo, ir a traer la quincena. <laughs> That's important, right? Or if you go to the supermarket on the 15. So put it on the agenda. Choose four days. Si tienen que ir al súper, tienen que pagar la luz, si tienen que pagar el agua, tienen que ir a hacer algún depósito al banco, no sé. To go to the hospital, if you have a medical appointment, right. But use only commands, okay? Use only commands. Exactly like what I did here, okay? You have to use commands. Choose four days. And then what do you do when you have it ready? You say, ah, check, 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 check. That's the importance of an agenda that you can have it organized and then you can just mark when the things are ready. Okay, write it down, please. Tienen que ser cuatro, sí o sí. Uh, yeah, they, I, I mean, I can have you doing the complete month, but only four. Solo cuatro. Only, do, do you want more days? Diego, ¿estás más días? No, no. Quería menos. Quería menos. No, but I mean, things that you need to do that are important. I don't know if you have a date, if you are going to a restaurant with someone, if you are going to eat pupusas one day. Oh, that's very important. So that's very important. Oh. Yeah, put it on the agenda. Order the pupusas for the party. Ask Niña Juanita for los tamales. Those no me voy a a la, a la fiesta, te sabes. Tomorrow. <ríe> sí. Ah. Creo que no cabemos en las sillas, pero los puedo llevar. <ríe> oh, the little chair. It, it is going to be in the kindergarten where he studies. Va a ser en el kinder, así que todos en las mesitas. <ríe> I will bring the piñata for the class. Huh. Today was the writing day. It was a lot of writing. This is just the beginning. I 
and you will say, ¿desde cuándo tener la letra tan bonita? Ah, desde que te echan nada y me hace escribir todos los días. <laughs> Every day, writing and writing and writing. But it is good, it's very beneficial. Hey, Mr. Johnny. Eh, Mr. Johnny is eh, incapacitado, teacher. Sí, ¿qué tiene? No tengo mayor información, pero sí. Eh. <laughs> you see, and Catherine, where is Catherine? Hey, <laughs> you see, Catherine is not here. So she's, she's very sick. Okay, who has it ready? Who finish? No one has finished. Okay, Luis Parrilla, did you finish? Yes. Okay, tell me, what are you going to do this month? Okay, June 10. June 10, uh huh. Then, organize. 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 Organize a tour event. Okay. Uh, June 17th. 17th, uh huh. 17th, buy a flowers to celebrate Father's Day. Oh, so beautiful. Buy flowers to celebrate Father's Day. Very good. June 22. 22nd. Uh, okay. June 22nd. Grab token of flowers. June train thirtieth thirtieth uh oh uh -huh. me perdí I'm here <laughs> yeah my internet was lost okay. I lost I lost the June thirtieth what happened uh, June twenty second uh huh Great talking of slow to my teacher. Ah, uh, yes, please. <laughs> or, or it's another teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, no. The only June, one, okay. June, pay, pay the cable bill. Oh, pay the cable bill, yes. Yes, if not, they are going to come and look for you. Hmm. Yes. Okay, so good, very good. So let me see, anyone else who has finished? Who has finished? Anyone else? Uh -huh. Give me one second. I need to reconnect my internet. Wait, 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 I'm back. There you go. <laughs> it's because I was I was connected in an incorrect internet. Tenía conectado un internet que no era. El vecino que no apaga. <laughs> okay, here, here, here I am. Yes, siempre se me pega el teléfono. 
Y me da un internet bien malo. Ok, thank you very much. Mr. Edwin. Eh, ¿Me escuchas? Sí. Yes, I can listen sí. to you. Now, sí. now I can listen to you perfectly. Sí, me escucha ahorita. Yes. Porque se me, se, me, se me paró la computadora por el teléfono. Estoy ahorita. No, but I can listen to you perfect. Ok. Dice, he eh, hecho cuatro son June 10th. Uh -huh. Go to the bank. <laughs> Go to the bank. <laughs> Good. Yes. That's important. June 17th, celebrate Father's Day. Good. June. 21st. 21st. Date. 21st sería. 20, uh -huh, 21st. 21st. Uh -huh. 21st. Date. Seguro social. <laughs> appointment. Sí. Medical appointment. No so dice, medical. Ajá. Uh -huh, si tiene una cita médica, dice medical appointment. A medical appointment. Okay. A medical at, appointment. At ease. In June. 20, 20, 24, 24, 24, 24, uh, I will go watch a soccer. To watch a soccer match. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> you see with the Alianza and fast, mm, you have to be very careful. <laughs> okay, to watch a soccer match. Excellent job, Mr. Edwin. Very good job. Someone else who yes. want to express? Ja okay, Isabel, go ahead. John, my a journal of John. John, um, 17? 17? 17. Uh -huh, 17. 17. Visit my brother for this Father's Day. And June 21. 21st. Test, 21st. Test. Um, cuando le sacan exámenes a uno, es. That's medical appointment. So you say medical appointment. Okay, medical appointment. June 24, go shopping at the supermarket. And June 25, go out for a ride on the motorcycle. Oh, to go on a ride for more with motorcycles. Hey, that's cool. I saw on your WhatsApp that you ride motorcycles. That's exciting. You can also call it a health checkup. A checkup is when you get the blood test and then you see, uy, no, mire, colesterol, uh, triglicerides, uy, no, uy, la azúcar, mire, uy, la presión, uh. So that's a health checkup. When do you go, right? Cuando se le enciende el check engine a uno. <laughs> you need to go, you need to go to see what's happening, right? Yeah, ya sabían que después de los 30 se enciende el check engine, ¿verdad? And you, need, and you need to and you need to go to the doctor right there is no option and you are like I you need to go to social security definitely anyone else mr victor go ahead uh see uh, uh first you eight Organize time to be ready in class. Okay, organize my time to be ready in class. Very good. Uh, next, uh, June 17th, visit my father and buy him a present. For Father's Day, very good. Uh, next, June, June 22, oh, organize the celebrate celebration for the teach for the teacher. Hey, nice. Teacher, my work. That's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. That's what I have to do, right? But but it's cool. Right, you can you can do it as well. Go ahead. Ah, no, es que era el otro, no, es que estaba estaba leyendo mal. No era ese, no era el otro, era este era. Ah, el que tenía que decir era pay the electric electricity bill, creo que se dice. Pay the electricity bill. 
Good. Pay the Kimba. electricity bill. Very good. Yes. And next in June. Uh, 30. Provoca 30, but 30. 30th. 30 Pay the pay the internet bill. <laughs> pay the internet bill, yes. That is one of the most important. You need to pay the internet bill, people. If not, hmm, not no class with teacher not. No. <laughs> you need to pay the internet bill. Very, very good job, Victor Manuel. Very nice. Nice job. Carla Patricia, let's go. Okay. Firstly, go to my song semifinal. Oh, ah, go to your Okay, go to yes, your... You uh -huh. need them go to my song semifinal match. Good. Secondly, June, June, June 17, organize the launch to celebrate celebration for day father. For Father's Day, huh? Thirdly, June, June 22. June 22nd. June 22nd. Organize the, the birthday of my brother. Organize the birthday Next. of your brother. Good. Next, June 30. Go to pay month's bill. Okay, go to pay the month's bill, right? That is really necessary. We need to pay the bills. Thank you, Carla Patricia. Great, great things on the agenda. Ahora ya lo pueden poner en el calendario. Mira lo que tienen que hacer. That's so awesome that you keep it organized. Mr. Diego, go ahead. Um, June 11, go to driving lesson. Oh, nice. June uh, how did you say this is saying in English? 16th. 16th. Uh, June 16, call it my payment or payment. <laughs> call uh, call your payment or get okay. your payment. Okay. June uh, 24. Uh-huh. Eat nachos with my best friend. Hey, that's so nice. June 28, organize, organize, or, organize, organize a problem solving presentation. Hey, that's so nice, right? You have to a problem solving presentation. Yes. Nice job. You see, now you have your things ready. Don't let your best friend down. Okay, no, I had a amigo ahí abajo. That day you need to go and eat nachos. Okay, good. Yes. Edwin Mauricio, go ahead. Um, June, why? June, uh -huh. go for my father to the airport. Oh, go to, go to pick up my parents, right? Say like, pick up, pick up my parents. Lo voy a dejar otra vez. Okay, so you say pick up my parents at the airport right mm -hmm. pick up my parents at the airport that's the way you say it pick up my parents at the airport pick up, my parents. Pick up. Parents. okay uh, june 16th uh medical appointment another visit, medical uh, the dentist oh you need to visit the dentist good june 17th father day celebration father's day celebration good june 18th or organize Organa, organize organize a trip with uh, my biker my hey. biker friends nice so you use, uh, you are bikers of motorcycles or bicycles? What? Motorcycles or bicycles? More. Motorcycles, okay. Yanira, Yanira Isabel, where are you? También va. Ya voy sola. Oh, so you see, but you can be in the team with Mr. Edwin. <laughs> no. Si Pero sería team. bueno, Edwin, invita. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> That's <Hola>. nice. <laughs> Alegría. You see, I am, I am, I am, I am connecting people here. You see. <laughs> you can, you can <laughs> no, no people no but you see people with similar hobbies in some cases do the hobbies alone and it is better when you do hobbies together so in in my case for example imagine that i love i love playing soccer imagine just to give you an example and wendy likes playing soccer and ronald too but we play alone it's better if we play together right so it's connections, right? Building connections. Yes, yeah, and Anda Isabel Solita. <laughs> She's in a group of people. So you can organize that one later. So those are examples, people. Very good examples for the ones who participated. And in the case of this one, when you say, pick up my parents, pick up my parents at the airport, you can use pick up for any type of people that you need to get from one place to another. This is uh, one whole word, right? You can say, pick up my son at school, pick up my mother at the supermarket, pick up my boyfriend at Metro Centro, right? Recoger, ir a traer de un lugar para otro. That's the meaning of pick up. And take, take is when you have the person and you take the person to a specific place. You say like, take teacher Nati to Salvador del Mundo. They take uh, Wendy to the supermarket, right? Llevar a. And pick up is ir a dejar a algún lado. Teacher, pero yes. eso aplica para personas, por así decirlo, con objetos también. Yes, I need to pick up my money, you say. Necesito ir a traer, ir a recoger mi dinero. I need to pick up my, uh, my cell phone from the, from the shop. I need to pick up the groceries. Tengo que ir a traer las cosas del super. I need to pick up a, I don't know, a part for my car. Pick up. Pick up es recoger en cualquiera de los aspectos. Recoger o ir a traer. Anything. Objects, people, money, anything. Right? To pick up. Good. I am going to just to make a short review about the ordinal numbers, people. Let me just close here. And I'm going to close this one for a second. And on the screen, I am going to share it right here. On the screen, you have the ordinal numbers. In this one, we need to remember, right? The different pronunciation of the ordinal numbers. Because right now you were saying, Ay, teacher, ¿cómo se decía? No sé qué. Y lo vimos ayer. Right? I showed it to you yesterday. And in this case, you say like first, right? First. And I was explaining you. Where do the last letters come from? ¿De dónde vienen las últimas letras del, de las que van con el numerito? Todas estas letras vienen de las últimas dos de la forma escrita. Okay, so uh, we need to be very careful with this. We need to be careful at the moment of using the ordinal numbers. So in this case, you say first, right? I think we don't have problems with these ones. Con estos no tenemos mucho problema, right? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. This is not really complicated. The ones that are complicated, and I know, are these ones, right? Estos sí son very complicated. You say 11th. Practice with me. 11th. 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 I need to listen to the at the end. 11th. 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 No, no, 11th. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, it's, and it's not 11th. <laughs> say 11th. 11th. Yeah, yo le digo. 11th. 11th. It's TH in Rolón, no in private. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very Eleven. much for the 11th. <laughs> Thank you. 12th. 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 Wow. This one is the 12th. 12th. Tenemos un sonido como 12th. 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 
Okay, nos vayan a morder la lengua. Thirteenth. 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 Okay, in this one, be careful not to say twerteen, right? Thirteen is a person without an eye. Thirteenth. <laughs> Right? 13. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. De un inglés latino que se, se siente como el toque todavía de español a un inglés un poco más nativo americano. That you have the pronunciation differences. Que usted hace esas diferencias de pronunciación. No es así como Mexican English, right? We're, we're going to go to the movies tomorrow. But it, that it's very marked, right? Se siente como bien marcado el español todavía. So you need to make a difference, right? You need to make a difference on pronunciation. It's like 14th. Right? And, and you listen to the sound at the end, right? You say 15th, 16th, 17th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 20th, 20th. Okay, and you are going to listen to the difference between a 20th que sería algo de un español así, bueno, de un inglés bien como, hey, no, eso se oye, pero como bien, bien ay, salvadorian, exactly, say 20th, ay, yeah. exactly, and you say, ah, oh, it's 20th, bueno, the 20th, 20th thing, it's like when you say 20th. thanks, 20th. when you say 20th. thanks, 20th. 20th. can you say 20th. thanks, please, thanks, thanks, thanks. thanks. No, no, no marquen la T, así, thanks, Sino que es un poco thanks. más suave. Y say, thanks. 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 Okay. Y para el sonido de la, del thanks, thanks, el TH de este sonido, su lengua va entre los dientes. Right? You say, 11th. Yes. 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 No se la muerda. 11th. 11th. And for thanks, su oh, lengua thanks. queda atrás de sus dientes y es un sonido un poco más suave. Say, thanks. 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 There you go. Si la, si la deja muy marcada, dice thanks. Thanks. Right. Esa thanks. no está correcta. Si me dice thanks, si me dice thank you, no. So you say thanks. Thanks. Como sopladito, así va. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What is the most common problem in El Salvador? Decimos, thank you very much. <laughs> Kill me, please. <laughs> Don't say thank you. Say, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. The other one is birthday. Birthday. Uh -huh. What is the Birth. most common problem? Birth. Ya yeah, andan oh, cantando oh, Happy oh, birthday to you oh, No, please No, in the logo no. no Happy, <laughs> si no dicen Happy birthday, but that's another thing. That, That's another Celebration <laughs> The beer day, right <laughs> There you have the, the Pills in there on your hand, right But That's another thing, that's another party But the ones that you say like Happy birthday Happy, happy, birth, birthday. happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Okay. Que sea usted la diferencia en los cantantes de los cumpleaños. Y dígales a todos ahí, hey, it's birthday. No, no verde, ni birde. Happy birthday. Bright. <laughs> happy birthday, they say. Happy birthday, ok? Those are the things, ok? Esas, como, esas cositas que tenemos que ir como puliendo del idioma. ¿Para que Para que su pronunciación vaya siendo más limpia y que su pronunciación vaya siendo mucho mejor. So, the little things, right? 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 
Things right, we need to mark it. When is your birthday? When is your birthday? And you tell me September 15th, October 31st, June 24th. Right, so that's the importance of pronunciation. So now, when you mark different days on the agenda. You can use the ordinal numbers. ¿Para qué ocupamos los números ordinales? Para hablar de lugares, para hablar de posiciones eh, de, como rubros, el primero, el segundo, el tercero, eh, no. para hablar de fechas. So you say, Valentine's Day is on February 14th, right? So you use ordinal numbers for that. Okay, and to talk about specific days. What are you going to do on June 17th, you say? Ah, I am going to celebrate. Father's Day. What are you going to do on June 22nd? Ah, I am going to celebrate Teacher's Day. Okay, so those are the uses of ordinal numbers. I wanted to stop there. Cuando estaba oyendo la pronunciación de esos ordinales en los ejemplos, yo dije, no, we need to review it. Hay que parar todo y revisar. It is important. Si los dejo ir por la vida así, no, it's not from that. And the next one, the next one. I wanted to uh, just to review a little bit on this one. A little bit of internet vocabulary. And for this part, uh, we have different words that you include on internet vocabulary. Let me just make it a little bit uh, bigger. And I can move on this one. The antivirus, what is the antivirus, people? The antivirus is for sure the one that you use to protect your computer, right? The one that you use to, to avoid all these different people to enter and check your things. The at sign, the at sign is the one that I was explaining you, right? The at, la arroba. A blog, what is a blog, people? It's a page on the internet where you can write articles, things, you can write news, recipes, etc. right? Un blog. What about the next one? A chat room. What is a chat room? A chat room. Una sala de chat, right? Where you can find anything that you want, right? People in the past, right? Creo que ustedes son muy jóvenes para recordar. Some of you. <laughs> and uh, on the chat room, you enter to talk to different people, right? I met my husband in a chat room. Hi <laughs> so, Fi. Hi Fi was a chat place, right? That you can go and meet people there. A computer, you know what a computer is, right? I don't have to explain you that much. A computer, like the big ones, right? The computer. Those are the ones that you can use in the desk, right? Una computadora de escritorio. What are the cookies? And don't tell me the ones that you eat. Cookies are the ones that uh, um, collect information from the web pages. Esas son las que recolectan información de las páginas web, de sus visitas, de lo que hace usted en línea. No sé si algún día le ha salido aceptar las cookies de esta página. Y usted solo le acepta. <laughs> aceptar todas. <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't shit, you don't check, right? You don't breathe in anything. She just like acepta todo. <laughs> because you need to check like hey what's going on right what's going on like i need to read i need to read right the cookies mm -hmm. what about the cursor the cursor it's like this the one that i am moving here right this is the cursor it's wow. the the little arrow that you have here el cursor la oh, flechita yeah. right the cursor yeah. it's the same the cyberspace is the internet in general Right, the cyberspace is all the internet. <coughs> and people say, googlealo, they say. Everything is googleado. It's on the internet. Look for it online, right? Look for it online. To download, what is to download? Descargar. Uh-huh, to download. And you just oh. click on everything, right? Descargar, descargar, descargar. And then you say like, Es que no tengo espacio en el teléfono. You download everything on, on it, right? So an email, what is an email? An email? Correo. Un correo, right? Instant. No, no, no. Instant <laughs> is on the moment, instantáneo, right? The information on the internet is on the instant, right? ¿Qué pasa? Medio tembló. ¿Y qué pasa? Uh, everything, no sé everything is on no. the internet, right? Yeah, I think Google kind of hates me because it informs me after the shake. A mí me informa hasta que ya tembló. Y yo, oh, thank you. Thank you. Very helpful. Right? Oh, tembló. <laughs> Con la casa encima. <laughs> them instant but you can go to the internet and investigate on the moment right when an event happens in the world pasa algo en el mundo puede estar pasando allá por tailandia y usted ya se enteró it's instant right the next one it's messaging instant messaging what is this one together uh, what is the meaning of these ones together si él les explique qué significa instant Y ahora, instant messaging, ¿qué significa? Okay. Instant messaging. What is an example of an instant messaging? WhatsApp. Exactly like that, right? WhatsApp, WhatsApp is a good example of instant messaging because I can write about something and you know it on the same second. En el mismo segundo ustedes ya lo saben. That it's instant messaging, right? Instant messaging. What about the next one? You have the internet. That is one thing. The internet is everything that you have there. All the information present. That is the internet. But what about internet address? The direction. Una dirección electrónica. Uh -huh. What is the ah, internet? Ejemplo. What is the internet address for the platform? Uh -huh. No, no. What is the internet address of the platform for English Corporativo? Ah. Ah. I don't remember. Eso. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh -huh. Platform. Uh -huh. What is the internet access for the platform? HTTPS. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, but what is the internet address? La, la dirección en, en sí, ¿cuál es? English English Corporate. Uh -huh. Online, English Corporativo. Punto. <laughs> punto, punto com. A little bit, si fuera examen ya lo hubiéramos aplazado. <laughs> y lo de internet. Ay, come on. The keyboard. What is the keyboard? The keyboard. Teclado. teclado. Exactly like that. Teclado. <laughs> the laptop. Right here you have the laptop. This is a laptop, right? And you call it laptop because you put it on your lap, 
¿Sabían que se llama laptop? Porque se la pueden poner en su lap. ¿Saben cuál es esa parte de su cuerpo? Lap. Sus piernas. Piernas. Okay. Como cuando está chiquito y su papá lo siente en sus piernas. On the lap. Okay. That's why it's called laptop. Because it is supposed that you can work like this. And you can work on your lap. Se la pueden poner en las piernas y trabajar ahí. Por eso se llama laptop. Okay. A oh. monitor. Oh, monitor. Is it? The monitor is the monitor, right? And now imagine if I tell you about head and shoulders, the shampoo. ¿Por qué se llama head and shoulders? Porque si se cabeza y hombro. Head and shoulders, right? Para hombres y mujeres. Head and shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> head and shoulders. The mouse. And it's not, and it's not, no, but this is the mouse. The mouse. Oh, the mouse. The computer mouse. Mickey Mouse is another one, right? <laughs> Mickey Mouse is one that I have right there. Password. Contraseña. Contraseña. En realidad es la palabra para pasar, ¿verdad? Password. But it's the contraseña. Password. Pop up. What is the meaning of pop up? Imagínense si tuviéramos pop-ups en la vida real. ¿verdad? I would be talking mm -hmm. in pum. Ventana emergente. Eh, ventanas emergentes. A pop-up, right? That would be like. Fuera <laughs> chivo. Fuera chivo. Imagínense que sus pensamientos salieran en ventanas emergentes. Sería malo. I would be <laughs> Sería muy malo que salieran los pensamientos. Malo para manejarse. In, in my case, it will be like this. All these ones. Si supieran todo lo que pienso todo el día. That would be terrible. Yo andaría como con 80 ventanas abiertas. Yo como 40. Yeah. Y una tuviera música y no sé cuál fuera. Por abrir. <laughs> Well, right now, Mr. Mr. Ronald Ulises tuviera el antivirus activado. Uh, 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 yeah. So, there you go. That would be the, the pop-up, right? The server. Ha detectado una amenaza. <laughs> yeah. The server. The server is the head of every program, right? El servidor. Then you have uh -huh. spam. Spam is... These useless pages that you can open in some cases, right? Ah, eso es spam de sí. Eso es archivo. How do you call it? Archivos basura, sí, right? Archivos maliciosos. That's a spam. Sí. Or the ones that you don't need. For example, on your email, you can get a lot of spam, right? Compre una pizza con pi con piña, compre una pizza con no sé qué, compre pizza con jamón. And then you have like 100 emails of pizza, pizza Paquito, right? Just not to use the name. And it is maybe because you visit the page one time, tal vez visitó la página una vez, and then you receive all these emails, right? ¿Por qué? Porque no leyó las cookies que decían, acepta recibir correos de nosotros. Y dice, acepta todo. And then you say like, no sé por qué me caen estos correos. Really? No queríamos ver. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? You didn't know and said, like, accept everything, right? And then in some cases, right? Well, the username, it's the, the like the ones that you use to enter to Zoom, su usuario, lo que ocupan para entrar a la plataforma. Virus, virus, that's a very common thing because you open pages that are not appropriate. <clears throat> Exactly like that, right? In the past, it was worst, right? But now it's a little bit, a little bit different. And the website is for sure all the different pages that you use online. So that is a little bit of vocabulary about um, internet. I wanted to also talk about this one because we had the email, como teníamos el correo on the manual. I wanted to express a little bit about the email, right? Here you have the at, 
And here you have the different parts of the email. Well, I am going to call the attendance before we move to the next space. Antes de que nos vayamos a nuestros procedures, I am going to call the attendance. Remember, when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present. Mr. Cristian Eduardo. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, ting, ting. Dennis Gerardo. Presente. Diego José. Presente. Edwin Ernesto. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Presente. Jonis Vladimir. Uh, Jonis is not here. Eh, Jorge Antonio. Presente. Karen Lisset. Presente. Carla Patricia. Presente. Catherine Rosibel. Luis Humberto. Presente. Norma Yamilet. Normita. Normita, where are you? I, I saw you there. Yeah, I saw you. Let's see. Eh, Ronald Ulises. Present. Victor Manuel. Presente. Walter Enrique. Presente. Wendy Beatriz. Presente. And Janira Isabel. Present. Thank you very much. We are just missing Mr. Janice and Miss Catherine. Both are sick. Okay, good. So let's continue. I know that all of you have your procedures ready, right? Todos terminaron sus procesos? Explicar algún proceso? Yes? You <laughs> think? Yeah, I, I, I know those faces, right? Las puedo conocer en vivo y en virtual. The faces. <laughs> The homework teacher. <gasps> homework. Which homework teacher? No, you didn't say anything, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so the different procedures. If you didn't write it, I need you to invent one right now, even to make a pancake, a sandwich, a choco, a nano, whatever you want to explain, but invent one. Remember, procedures start with the verb, right? The verb of the comment. And you are going to have here the complement, right? It is not that uh, complicated. And you say, cut the bananas. Uh, I don't know, put the bananas in the refrigerator. Put the bananas in the fridge. In the fridge, right? You put the bananas in the fridge. I am going to explain how to make a choco banana. Oh, the first one. For sure, if you don't have them, how are you going to do it? Buy bananas. <laughs> Cut the bananas. No, here, first you peel them. Peel the bananas, cut them, put the bananas in the fridge. Wait for about three hours, depending on your refrigerator. Wait for about three hours. And then melt the chocolate, no, buy chocolate. Buy chocolate, uh, melt the chocolate, and then cover the frozen banana with chocolate. And then sell them. There you go. <laughs> that would be the procedure to make choco bananas, right? Siempre el empleo. Bien presente esa etapa. I still do it. Todavía lo vendo. Pues bueno. Me quito el emprendedurismo. I always, yeah. Choco bananas are very delicious and people love it. But they say like, ya están los chocos. Qué rico. Am. And they just eat it. No, I sell them. They're like, acora. <laughs> I sell the chocolate and sell them to your family. And there you go. That's one of my, my, my best uh, moments in life. I always remember it. So that's a process. That's a process, right? A procedure. Simple. So I need you to explain to your friends a different procedure that you invented or investigated. Okay. 
So in this moment, we are going to do this. The groups are small, groups of three, and each of you is going to express the procedure that he or she invented, okay? Vamos a hacer grupitos de tres, and vamos a explicar los procedimientos, okay? To any procedure. And then you say like, this is the procedure to send a WhatsApp. This is the procedure to prepare a sandwich. This is the procedure to fix a car, something like that. No, don't, don't use very complicated ones. Use simple ones so people can actually explain and participate with you. Okay, I am going to move Mr. Edwin and Walter, you only have one device connected? Yes. Como dice? Hoy solo tiene un device conectado, ¿verdad? Sí, así es. <laughs> ok. Es que Edwin lo tengo que poner en el mismo grupo. Ok, good. Now, go to your group and explain your procedure. Go ahead. You have eight minutes to do this. Go ahead. Edwin and Victor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to go and check the different groups to listen to the different procedures that students created. Let's see what they did. Hello, teacher. Hello. No, you have to explain the procedure of the homework. ¿Cómo entramos aquí? No, 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 no. The one that I assigned yesterday. El que les dejé ayer de tarea. No okay. sabía que no. Me... Ah, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Primero, voy a escribir. Okay, so you can explain how did you sign up to English Corporativo. Okay. <laughs> El día de ayer, cuando estábamos hablando de los procesos, ya ven, yo creo que ya tenían sueño, les asigné la tarea de que explicaran un proceso de alguna cosa, de alguna receta, de algún eh, procedimiento, algún proceso, algún, alguna cosa que hacen en su trabajo, o algo sencillo, por ejemplo, como, eh, como planchar pelo. Eso no es sencillo. <laughs> no, it is not. It's terribly difficult. It's very complicated. It's very complicated, right? Go to the salon, pay, and enjoy. <laughs> that's, that's what I will do. It's easy. <laughs> so, eh, that is what you are supposed to do. Entonces, ahora te escojan un proceso, lo que sea. Como enviar un mensaje, como ir al super, como, eh, no sé, pagar virtual el banco, no sé. Cómo hacer una suma. Cómo hacer una suma, right? And that's a difficult process, depending. Imagine if it is algebra or something sumate, like that. Sumate. No, take the number, then add the number, get the result, write the result, explain the result. No. That's complicated. And that's trendy, different. So, and you have to explain one. So, Ronald, what is the process that you are going to explain? Como nace un pollito. Ajá. Como nace un pollito. Ok. Mm. Wendy. First, by First, by the chicken. No, ok. By the hen. Ajá. Wendita. By the Comprar una gallina. Explain. 
Wendy, how to make a sandwich? Ajá, sí, ese. Cómo preparar sandwich. Ajá. How to prepare a sandwich. Ronald, tell me how to how to prepare a sunny side egg. Cómo hacer un huevo estrellado. <laughs> Se me quema. El agua. Christian, ¿qué proceso vas a explicar? How to make chicken in sauce. <laughs> How to make chicken in sauce, hey! Very complicated procedure, okay. Create. No, Uy, no, I, did, I didn't get it. Yeah, that's a very complicated procedure, oh, right? Okay. <laughs> Ese proceso estuvo difícil. How do you say huevo estrellado? Sunny side egg. Teacher. So, yes? I can write uh, first step. First step. First step. step. Uh -huh. Yeah, or you say first. Okay. First, you say this, 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 and this. Or first step. This one. Okay. I am going to I am going to check on the other groups. Okay. Okay. Hello. Mm. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hola, con Karencita. ¿Sí? ¿Se salió? No, sí. se, se salió okay. la Karencita. Ah, bueno. Creo que se, no, se le debe haber caído el Inter porque se salió. Ah, bueno, ok. Yes. Aquí está. Teacher, una yep. pregunta. Mayonesa, bueno, algunas palabras tengo entendido que en inglés no cambia, solo la mm -hmm. pronunciación. Y mayonesa cambiaría la palabra. Yes, it's mayonnaise. Doble. Mayonnaise. Doble. 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 Yes. Ah, mayonesa. Mayonnaise. And mustard is mostaza. Okay. No, no nos gusta. <laughs> I don't like it, you say. No, 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 gusta mayonesa. Only mayonesa. Only mayonesa. <laughs> Entonces sería el segundo. The, cre the first. The first agregado. First. Ah, first. No, first. 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 No. First. 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 And the Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Salsa negra. No, dice no para donde la pancha. No, I mean, then what are you, what are you cooking? And sandwich. A sandwich. I, I didn't know. I was giving you the names of the different, the different sauces that you can use. Este va a ser de jamón de pavo. Oh, okay. Turkey jam. Nice what? and turkey jam. Turkey jam. I am going to send it here. Turkey ham. There you go. Okay. The turkey ham. No, turkey is pavo. Turkey. Jamón de Turquía. Turkey. Turkey ham. International ham. Okay. I am going to check on the next group. I will come back. Ya vengo. Ya vengo. Después, Ajá. Como, como quinto paso agregamos sí. hielo, sería. Ah, ah ¿verdad? Hielo, no sé. Ajá, como quinto no sé paso hielo. agregamos hielo. And what are we cooking? <laughs> A milkshake. Orange juice. Ah, okay. Orange juice. Orange, Orange juice. juice. Entonces le ponemos hielo. Yes, you can do it. ¿Sí? How do you say yellow? Ice. Ice. Ice, ice no, no. Ice. After like that, ice. Add ice. Sería put ice on it. No. Add, 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 add ice. Add ice. Add ice. Add ice. Add ice. Sería agregado. Creo que sería. As a fish, still we add ice. Así. Add ice. After okay. that, add ice. After that, ya, yeah, porque eso lleva al final, ¿no? 
after that, add no, ice. El, el At the beginning. Ah, no, ok. Final, ya, ya, ya tenemos jugo hecho, ya, ya vamos al final. <laughs> ok. A ponerle hielito y después va. Okay. It's ah. like, what, what else are you going to put on the orange juice? Come on. <laughs> it's like, sabe raro. <laughs> But it's good, you say. But after, entonces pongámosle after that, add ice. Add ice. After. Add Af ice. After. 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 After, yeah. that, after. Uh, first, after that, or next? No, you say uh, first. No me diga first. First. ¿Cuál va es primero? Que ese, o sea, el first, it's first. That's the only no, one no, that no. you can use only one time. Hablando de after that or next. Okay, puede ser after that, you can use it in any moment. Oh, But if you say, for that. example, add ice. And after that, serve. ¿Ok? Para hacer la secuencia lógica. Add ice after that. O sea, después de haberle puesto el hielo, you can serve. ¿Ok? But you cannot say, for example, first at the beginning and then next, after that, furthermore, whatever. First, otra vez. No, first is the only no. one that can be used only one time. And finally. Mm -hmm. First and no, finally no. solo los pueden ocupar una vez. Sí, yes. es, ya lo tenemos, ya lo tenemos. Si solo okay. estamos ya no, en, en el juguito, ya cómo lo vamos a hacer de último. Ok, good. Finish that Finally. one. Finish, I will come back. Ya vuelvo. <coughs> then, oh. Luego, la And then, hello, ajá. Uh -huh. oh, hello, teacher. Process to make a salad chill. Ah, process to make mm. a salad. Very delicious. What type of salad? Chicken salad, fruit salad, fresh salad, pollo campero salad. Hey. Fresh. Ah, fresh. La más simple posible. <laughs> fresh salad. <laughs> Don't tell me about the fresh salad, that it's simple. Because I put grapes, ham. I put chicken. I put uh, pineapple on the fresh salad. So I put everything. Hasta pásale. <laughs> They will be like, what? Al almendras. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Estas cosas. Semilla de marañón. You can put everything on a fresh salad. It is very delicious. Beans also. It's very delicious. Okay, so what is your process? Tell me. ¿Qué llevan hasta el momento? First, boil, boil the vegetables. Boil the vegetables. Sí. Ah, bye. Bye, comprar. <laughs> <laughs> I say, wait, boil es hervir. Ah. Bye. Ah, pero no, no estaría mal tampoco hervirlo. <laughs> Imagine if you boil the, the lettuce. Ya no, ya no sería peixe. La lechuga. Uh, uh, second, wash the vegetables. Wash the vegetables. Des disinfect the vegetables, right? You disinfect the vegetables. Uh. You buy them, you disinfect them, and then... After that, cut the vegetable. Cut the vegetables, very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that's it, teacher. <laughs> Ta -da. Ta -da, no, teacher. <laughs> cut the vegetables and then uh, put the vegetables in a container or in a bowl. Put the vegetables in a bowl like this. Put the vegetables in a bowl. Wait, okay. Here, 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 here. Put the vegetables in a bowl. Pónganlos en un recipiente, un contenedor. The vegetable in the bowl. In a bowl. And then you can say mix the vegetables. Add, I don't know, add mayonnaise or whatever you want to put on it. Lemon. Mm -hmm. Add lemon, add salt, 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 um. yes. Okay. De ahí, yam, yam. Mix them <laughs> and yam, yam. <laughs> <laughs> and then yam, yam, just <laughs> Okay, yeah, mix and enjoy. So you say mix and yam, yam. <laughs> <laughs> mix and enjoy. So you can use it like that. Mix. Yeah. Mix significa. Mix. Okay. Mix like 
like in the music when you mix music ah mix mm -hmm. mezclar okay. in the vegetables you mix them right you mix everything not with your hands right with spoons yeah colama <laughs> colama no. mix the vegetables right well to mix the vegetables you do something like this with two things and then you mix them yeah <laughs> Cuando la ensalada es suya, you can mix the vegetables <laughs> with your hands. Es una cosa tan simple y tantos procesos, va. Exactly. That's that's what I say. Appreciate what you do. Ahí es donde apreciamos lo que hacemos. Yes. Imagínense que usted me explicara todo el proceso de su día, desde que se levanta hasta que se acuesta. That would be like, whoa, like seven pages of information. Yeah. And it's like, I take a shower. Uh -huh. What is the process to take a shower? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and then you say like, and, oh, yeah. and I change my clothes. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el proceso para cambiarse? First, uh, think about what you're going to have. Decide the clothes. Look for the clothes. Get the clothes. Uh, put the clothes. So that, that would be a lot of processes. Your brain is very smart, okay? Finish your uh, procedure and I'm going to go with the last group. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, thank you, Thank you, thank, thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Take the bus. Done. Take the bus. Welcome, teacher. Hello. Did you finish Hello. your process? Estamos practicando la lectura porque va a ser un proceso, ¿verdad? Yeah, only one. Pero uno lo va a leer en inglés y hasta ahí nada más o también lo vamos a leer en español. No, only in English. Okay. Only in English. No Spanish, only in English. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Victor, where are you? Aquí estoy. I, I can see you. No veo. <laughs> sí, es que, es que se quemó el foco. <laughs> In Dollar City, one dollar. Sí, me acaba de quemar. Por que pongan una candela ahorita, pero no, no, no. No, that's very dangerous. Imagine if you forget it. No, no, no. Mejor ahí. In darkness. In the darkness. Okay, good. Uh, finish with the process that you are going to explain, and I am going to go and check the last group. Voy a revisar el último grupo, ¿ok? Está bien. Okay. Students are about to finish with their processes and they are going to come back in one minute. Okay, let's bring students back.
Siguiente. Ya. Hello. Teacher, ahí decía 60 segundos. ¿Ah? Decía 60 segundos y fueron como 5 los People, you have a timer there. Ahí le sale el relojito abajo. Yo, yo lo sentí como 3 minutos. No, hombre. Yo no, lo sentí eh, eso. No, it was like, and, and then uh, I had Edwin talking about the juice. And I was like, ya se acabó. I need more time. I need more time. Había jugo ya aquí. Okay, Mr. Edwin, tell us the process how to make orange juice. Me, yo. Yes, yeah, you. Bueno. Uh, Christian tenemos... wants to say. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. Bueno, voy a comenzar. First, buy orange. Second, Peel orange. Third, squeeze the orange. Then mix orange juice, water, and sugar. After that, add ice. Next, text orange juice. And finally, drink orange juice. Okay, you say drink the orange juice. Drink the orange juice. Mix okay. with sugar. 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 After sure, that, right? You say after that. Good, very good. Remember, you say peel the oranges, right? Squeeze the oranges. Okay, that's the process of it. Very good. Add ice to the juice. Serve the orange juice. Good, very good job for the orange juice. Now I want to drink orange juice. Ash. <laughs> Thank you, group. It was a very, a very nice process. Hey, what are the fruits on this one? Let me find them. Ta -da! Orange juice. Good. I will squeeze the orange juice. Let's see. The next group I am going to call. I am going to call the next group. Dennis and Carla Patricia. How do you make a sandwich, people? It's a little. How do you make a sandwich? Okay. The first, okay. my first in hand, bread, vegetable, and mayonnaise. Secondly, put mayonnaise in and grate. Third, put and put vegetable, tomato, onion, and lettuce. Fourth, add little cake ham. Fifth. And then the second bread cup. Finally, eight in watch a movie. <laughs> Eat and watch a movie. I like that part. <laughs> okay. Fair, the, the, the next, right? Cover with the, the second bread part. That was good. And enjoy and watch a movie. That's that's one of my favorite parts, right? A turkey ham sandwich. Good job. It was a very nice thing. Let me see if I have a ham. A uh, sandwich on the, let me see. Hey, there is no sandwich here. Okay. I am going to put a hamburger then. <laughs> there is no sandwich, but there you have a hamburger. Let's go with the next group. We are going to go and check with uh, Jorge, Antonio, Diego, and Norma. Diego. What are we going to learn? How to make salad. A, a salad. salad, a fresh Process salad. Process to make a salad, a delicious salad. Process to make a delicious salad with Diego, Jorge, and Norma. Go ahead. First, buy the vegetable. Second, Second. yes, continue, continue. <laughs> Second, disinfect vegetable. Normal. After that, cook the vegetables. Cook the vegetables. Same, put the vegetable in a bowl. Add lemon and salt. That's the taste. 
To taste, to taste, okay. yes, to taste, al gusto, to taste. Uh -huh. Mix all ingredients. Mix all ingredients, good. And finally, eat delicious salad. And finally, eat a delicious salad. Right, there you go. Charan, there you have a salad. Yum, yum. Then last, yum, yum. Salad, very good job. You did a very nice job preparing your salad. Very beautiful, excellent. Let's go with the next one. Christian, Ronald and Wendy, which one are you going to explain at the end? ¿Cuál van a explicar al final? Eh, ah, era una de las tres. No, the, you can, the, oh, no, the three. Ajá, tres hicimos. Perfect. Uno uno. Fantastic, fantastic. I love it. Go ahead. Wendy, tell me. Okay. Me deja la tos. <laughs> First, get a piece of bread. They can cook it in, in house. They add some finished butter. Finally, toast to taste and serve. Okay, that was the procedure to make what? Pan tostado. Yes. <laughs> okay, toast bread or French toast. Very good. Let's go with Christian. Okay. <laughs> um, how to make chicken in South? Okay. Um, first step, I go into the market and then buy the chicken. Next, cook chicken. Uh -huh. I wash, I wash chicken. <laughs> wash the chicken, good. Wash the chicken. The chicken. And, and put it in a bowl. And season chicken. Season the chicken, good, very good. After we green the tomato. <coughs> green the tomato, good. Add vegetable. Add vegetables. And meanwhile, wait for it to cook. Wait for it to cook, right? It's like, wait, uh-huh. Um, and fin finally. And finally. I serve and eat. <laughs> serve and eat. Serve and yum yum, as Diego says. <laughs> there you go. Very good job. How to make chicken in sauce, right? Chicken in sauce. Very, very delicious uh, recipe, the one that you explained, right? Chicken in sauce. That was <laughs> Yeah, but it, and it's very delicious and easy to make, right? Now you know how to make a uh, bread right how to toast bread how to make chicken in sauce and Ronald <laughs> this uh, fried egg. fried eggs so it's the pan Hit the second, pan second add oil to the pan Uh, next, lightly beat the egg with a little salt. After that, cook the egg on the plate. Finally, let's eat. <laughs> okay, fried eggs. Very good. Simple, but necessary, right? That's one must know recipe. Very good, excellent job group that you did three different recipes going over the extra mile. That was really perfect. And let's go with the last group. Let me see, uh, Isabel, Victor and Edwin. Okay. Cooking shrimp in sauce. First, level home, then take the bus, 
then go to the market to buy the shrimp and sauce and seasoning. After that return home, wash your hands, to clean the stream, stream. The shrimps, uh -huh. after, after start cooking the shrimp uh, seasoning, uh, sauce, and move, move them quite by minute and move again later a uh, cream and cook ten, uh, 10 more minutes at the end of the process serve and taste the food. So you taste it, right? Finally. Okay. And finally, eat. <laughs> what is the final step? Finally. And finally, you eat them, right? Uh, shrimps with different sauce, right? And cream. You have the different ways to prepare the shrimps. Great job, my dear students. You see, processes are easy. They are easy, but you have to think little by little on all the things that you do, right? Había un grupo que me decía, teacher, pero es que cada cosa tiene un gran proceso. O sea, pensar cada paso del proceso it's complicated and you do it automatically you stay lo hacen automático imagine how to think in english now you are doing this automatically because I, I can speak to you in english or in spanish and then you are processing everything right it is difficult sometimes it's complicated but you are getting on the process good job fantastic job my dear class i really like the processes that you explained it was very beautiful so let's go back in these last minutes that we have in the class. I am going to explain a little bit on the next topic that we have here. Okay, we have a conversation first and we have specific words mark on the conversation, right? Remember that we're going to check platform tomorrow. Mañana revisamos plataforma, chicos. En qué sección vamos? Ya pasaron la tres. La cuatro ya la terminaron. Everything. Ya está el diploma, la tierra. Pero finish. You finish, right? You finish everything on the platform. Yes. That's so fantastic. Tomorrow we are going to check unit two that we already did it. La unidad ya la hicimos la vez pasada. Vamos a revisar un poquito que esté todo terminado. So for you to keep it in mind, okay? That's something that I wanted to, to tell you. Okay, so here we have a conversation. On this conversation, we have a specific words mark. Can you identify the words that are important in this conversation? Which ones do you consider important? The words that you consider, ah, that's the main thing. You have need to and have to. Okay, I am going to give you a little introduction to this today. And this will be their main topic for tomorrow, right? Need to and have to. Can you identify the difference on need to and have to? Necesidad. Necesito y tengo. Exactly, right? It's a little bit of necessity and a little bit of obligation. And there is no. another one that we can add here that is a one top word that it's called must. And there is another one that it's called should. Must is the top of the obligation, right? You must study to learn English, right? Must is the top thing. There is no option, right? Todavía con have to, I give you an option to do it. Ah, you have to do it. It is important, right? But with must, there is nothing. There is nothing there. You must do it. 
you must copy the classes. You must review. You must work in the platform. You must have your camera on during the two hours of classes, right? You must practice to learn English, right? In this case, must, it's total obligation, right? And should is like a little bit of, I am giving you a suggestion. You should practice pronunciation. Imagine that you say like, ay, que se siente un poquito más gordito de lo normal. You should exercise. Deberías. But if the doctor say, you must exercise, there is no option, right? It's like, ay, tal vez. No, there is no tal vez there. You must. Debes. De. It's an obligation, right? You need to exercise. Ah, there is a possibility for me not to do it. You have to exercise. It's a little bit more of an obligation. So these two, I add them, right? Eso dos se los agregué yo. <laughs> the most important are need to and have to for the topic. But we will see. Mr. Luis Parrilla, can you help me to read John? And let me see, I am going to ask. Marquín no ha hablado mucho ahora. Uy, ¿qué, ¿qué es eso? Eh, Denis Gerardo. No ha hablado mucho, Denis. Go, Luis. Luis is John and Denis is Anne. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> um, is there some time you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to put the reschedule. Reschedule. Okay. Okay. For tomorrow, they were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to. Más difícil, no te yes, I had to pro... provide, provide, provide important information to the customers. That's so interesting. That sounds, <laughs> how do you pronounce this one? That sounds interesting. 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 Interesting, right? Interesting. Hey, we have a lot of pronunciation issues here. It's a something, something. Something. So <laughs> Is there something, something, something you need to do tomorrow? Tomorrow? Actually, 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 actually I need to call some clients. Clients. Right. Well, I have to see, yeah, a schedule era diferente. Ahora, reschedule, it's a little bit more complicated, right? I have to reschedule, right? Reschedule to meetings. Meetings. For Me. tomorrow. For tomorrow. They were canceled today. They were canceled today. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. I have to provide, right? Provide. Provide. Important. Important. Information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Interesting. Not interesting, right? Or interesting, right? Say interesting. 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 Very good. Interesting. Okay. Uh, listen to the pronunciation. Okay. Listen. Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Is there something you need to do tomorrow? Listen. Is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. OK, 
okay? Go with me. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Um, is, is, there, um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? <laughs> Aquí sale a volar todas las tos. <laughs> is there something you need to do tomorrow? Is there something you need to do tomorrow? Okay. Si le preguntan a alguien, pregúntele con, 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 la, con la duda que quiere la respuesta, right? Is there something you need to do tomorrow? Is there something you need to do tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yes. Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. Actually, I need to call some clients. You. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. They were canceled today. They were canceled today. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's, oh, that's bad. Bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. Yes, I have to provide information to some customers. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. 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 Okay. Interesting. Ahora ya practicamos. Ya no hay que me vuelvan a decir alguna cosa incorrecta. Okay, mm -hmm. Jorge Antonio and Isabel, go ahead. Quiero una pregunta antes de uh -huh. todo. Ah, good. La vez pasada dijo que importante era important. Important. Y yo uh -huh. escucho que lo menciona la pronunciación diferente. Important. Ajá, entonces es important. I, I was just making it clear, ¿ok? Ya cuando lo hacemos con toda la oración, say like, yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. Ya cuando lo decimos en la frase completa, ya va important. important. I was just making little by little every word. Ahorita porque les estaba dando ahí letra, palabra por palabra. Important entonces la, la pronunciación correcta es important. Important, yes. Some... It's important to know how to say important. <laughs> Go ahead. Next. Action. No, no more questions? Yo, yo, uh -huh, yo uh -huh. tengo una. Victor, yes. Eh, la primera que dice, eh, son, some... son thing, o en la dice que es team, pero no sé si es ding o things. Something. Something. Thing. Something, T H. Something. Something. Yes. Ah, y la otra de abajo entonces dice: They were canceled today. Dice: dice Where? They were canceled. They were. They were. Se pronuncia where entonces. Yes, they were canceled. Ah, bueno. They were canceled today. Yes, it's okay. Go ahead. The, I had to reschedule. Re reschedule, re re schedule, right? Reschedule. Re re you see, this, exactly what you are doing right now, lo que están haciendo ahorita, es lo que tienen que hacer cada vez antes de hacer una conversación. Entonces, like, yes, teacher, I can do it. Is there something you need to do tomorrow? No, right? Ask first. Ask. If you have any question, aunque paremos la conversación y no la hagamos al ratito, reschedule, reschedule, right? I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. If you want to tell me, if you want me to repeat again, I can reread it, okay? Si me dicen, teacher, la puede volver a leer. I can do it for you. You say, like, teacher, I need to listen. Can you practice again? I can do it. Okay, but you say like, I can do it, teacher. Nah. El que tenga miedo a vivir, que no nazca. Ni al éxito. Sin miedo al éxito, ahí voy, teacher. And we make some mistakes that are like very basic and we need to, to fix. Okay, Isabel and Jorge. Action. Um, um, is there something you need 
to do tomorrow. Yes, absolutely. I need to call some client and you. Well, well, I had to reschedule the meeting for tomorrow. They were cancel, cancel, come cancel, uh -huh. cancel, cancel yeah. today. Oh, that's good, bad. That oh, that too bad. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I had to maybe provide. Provide. Yes, I had to pro provide important information to some customers. That's from interesting. Very good job. You did it nice. Yay. Very good. Very good. Now, uh, reactions for your friends, people. They did a very beautiful job. They did a very, very beautiful job. We are going to go back here okay you have a beautiful reaction here with your hand. i am going to go back with luis parrilla and who was your partner ¿Quién era tu pareja? dennis action aquí no pasó nada ustedes nunca la dijeron ustedes nunca practicaron okay it's your first time <laughs> dennis and luis can you help me to read the paragraph please Let's go. What is it? Hey, Mr. Luis Parrilla and Denny. Vamos. <coughs> Just because your friend is sick. Okay, Luis, Luis, you are John and Dennis it's Anne. Que se me olvida la palabra esa. And so, is there something? Something. 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 Thing. Thing. <laughs> Thing. Something. 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 Thing. 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 Something. There you go. Something. Something. Vamos, vamos, vamos. <laughs> Okay. Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to... Reschedule. Well, reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That song, interesting. Very good job. <laughs> you did a very nice job, my dear <laughs> students. You see, I probably sick. I have to be sick. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, very good so you see that was that was very good right it was very nice and the practice is the one that is going to bring you the perfect pronunciation so please my dear students i need you to take your whatsapp chat and you are going to go and open the whatsapp group right abran su grupo whatsapp there is a beautiful hiboa and i need you to do the following you are going to do the following and you are going to say, and is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you, well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information about uh, uh, some customers. Yeah, <laughs> And then you go and say, I will do it again for everybody. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Oh, yes, thank you. And then you send it to the chat, okay? Record your conversation. You can do it tomorrow, okay? Lo pueden hacer. 
ahora practiquenla and you can send it tomorrow. You have the audio there and I will be waiting for your audios tomorrow. Have a beautiful night, my dear students. Teacher, manda, I, manda la captura, teacher, please. I will be listening to your audios, okay? I will send it right now. Aquí se los tengo. Right now. Okay? Please. And here you go. Okay? Good night, teacher. <laughs> Have a beautiful night. I am going to see you tomorrow, my dear students. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Sleep well. Bye.